Good morning, all you coffee drinkers out there. Um, today I'm going to be doing the coffee, the daily coffee. On here, I wrote out a three page um, blog I was going to post, and then some glitch happened and it all deleted. So I kind of got mad about it and decided, well, I guess I'll just talk about it on here. So this vlog is going to be called the daily coffee for today. Um, I want to go back to the question that was posed last time. Um, let me look up the questions real fast. Um, I was talking about physician assisted suicide and I asked would you agree with it morally and ethically? Um, do you think it's right? Do you think it's wrong? Um, the reason why I asked that was I read a, a story <clears throat> and watched a video about this guy that had locked-in syndrome. Locked-in syndrome is a um, type of paralysis. Um, you can't talk. You can't move any type of your body. All he can do is move his head up and down like that and that's it. He can, he can think and he can hear everything around him. It's just he can't move. And he the way he talks is he uses a, a computer program that monitors his eye movement. And he talks through that. And right now it's in the litigation pro process to for him to be able to have the right to kill himself. And it has to do with a lot of ethical and moral boundaries. It's like all he's asking for is the right to be able to do this when millions of Americans and people around the world are have the right and do it themselves. All he's asking is to have a little help because he can't do it himself. So my question re-asked, if you're in the state, you could not move. All you could do is sit there day in and day out. You couldn't you couldn't talk. All you could be able to and maybe the computer program failed and you'd have no way to communicate with people. Would you want to live that way for 80 some years? Now, all he's asking for is to have the right to be able to have a physician assisted suicide. So, um, I wrote a paper on this <clears throat> a couple of years ago um, dealing with that and I took the moral high ground taking a religious perspective um, even though I have my own opinions about it, I took a religious perspective to argue the point that it is wrong, even though that I agree that it isn't. Because, but, I don't know. Even, okay, um, another point that I wanted to hit on, on that in the paper was the Hippocratic Oath. A doctor takes an oath when he goes, steps in to be a doctor, that you cannot harm or cause no harm to your patients. You're supposed to uphold and bring up the quality of life and all that jazz. Well, what if you can't sustain the quality of life for that patient? What if their quality of life is to constantly be in that state of unhappiness? I mean, isn't it their duty to help them? Anyways, um, a couple other things that I uh, want to hit on. Today is Tuesday, so I want to give you some fun facts about Tuesday. Um, let's see here. All right, did you know that the word Tuesday is derived from Old English, the uh, Taiwiz Dig? I think that's how you pronounce it, but uh, I'm not really good with my old English. Uh, it's uh, spelled as T-I-W-E-S-D-A-E-G. So um, write that down and try and pronounce it yourself. Um, it also derives from Latin, dies mortis, uh, which means day of Mars, and it also derives from ancient Greek, Hemera eros, day of eros. Um, Tayu is the English Germanic god of war in the sky. Uh, Mars is the Roman god of war and Ares is the 
Greek god of war. Now, um, here's something about Tuesday, health and color. As Tuesday represents the planet Mars, primarily red in color, the ancient system of health care called uh, Ayurveda, Vita, which centers on holistic health, recommends wearing red and being around red flowers on this day of the week. Now, I find that very interesting. Um, that's back in the way in the ancient times. Um, and being it Tuesday, you know, it uh, it's Sexy Tuesday now, so everybody's got to be out there writing their romantic, sexy novels or short stories or poems, which I myself will get on it um, later this evening. Um, it's actually 11.34 in the afternoon, so I think I'm going to go out and do something fun. Um, also, I found some other general interesting facts. Did you know the vibrator was originally used as a medicinal treatment for female hysteria during the 19th century? Okay, now if you don't know what hysteria is, it related to um, women that dealt with hy hysterectomies. Hysterectomy comes from hysteria with the removal of the ovaries or the female organs. Hysteria comes from women's ovaries. It's just, it all means it's Greek. Um, let's see. Oh, psychologically. It has to do with the female once a month period thing. Um, so yeah, let's move on from that. <laughs> let's see here. I found some other interesting facts. Oh, headaches. Did you know that headache is not a good reason not to have sex? Endorphins... <clears throat> that are released while having sex are powerful painkillers which relieve the headache. So, my suggestion is go out and have more of it. Um, let's see here. Oh, here's a fun fun thing. I was, uh, I kind of did this myself. It's, did you know your foot is the same length as your forearm? Okay. To prove this fact, I'm going to do this myself. Foot, forearm. It is the same length. Now that is fascinating. Also, your thumb is the same length of your nose. Another fun fact. Also, if someone tells you that if your hand is bigger than your face, then you have cancer, and the person puts their hand up to their face, like this, is only a reason for them to come up and go like that and smack you in the face. That is a myth. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here's another fun fact. Hummingbird is the only bird that can fly backwards. Well, very interesting. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh. Married men tip better than unmarried men. Natural pearls, melt and vinegar, uh, licorice, and avocado are among the food that sets the mood for lovemaking. So, that's something you might want to set out for your next romantic adventure. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, sitting. Um, they say that people that sit most of the day are generally taking two years off of their life. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I find that very odd. But it is proven by association in a CNN news report. So, I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to be standing a lot more because it increases the life expectancy to... 80 years instead of 78.2. So, good thing to know. Um, also, let's see. Oh, now, what do you think is the easiest way to burn calories? Or, say, best way to exercise and lose weight? 
Well, some might say, oh, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to walk my dog. I'll do some sit-ups. Um, I might go for a jog. Go to the gym. Do some hand crunches or whatever that is. But technically, scientifically, and medically proven that you can lose two kilograms a year by just laughing for very hard for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, I think that's very awesome because I love laughing. So I found some interesting facts out today. So I hope you enjoyed all those interesting fun facts. And being it's Tuesday, I hope all of you have a very sexy Tuesday. And for me, have faith and keep moving forward. And this has been your Daily Coffee.